Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Plex Tutorials. So, you have a big Blu-ray collection, I mean many of us do, and you're probably wondering, well, you know, I'm tired of messing with these darn discs. You may have set up a Plex Media server like I have, and you wonder, how can I get those discs onto the hard drive of my Plex Media server so I can watch my legally purchased Blu-ray discs that I have on all my smart devices? Because, you know, we don't have Blu-ray players on every TV anymore. I mean, you probably never even bought enough of them to even have on all your TVs. And you want to, this way you can stream to all of your devices in your house. And you don't have to mess with those darn discs. And who wants to go out and buy digital copies of everything that you already have, you already legally own. So you shouldn't have to rebuy them. Well, here's a, a good way of doing, of actually being able to copy those discs onto the hard drive. And then you're able to stream them to your TVs and smartphones and tablets. And that is using a program called Make MKV. So you just go to makemkv.com and once you go to the website, you just want to download it. They have a version here for both Windows and Mac OS 10. I think they have a Linux version somewhere too if you want to install that if you run a, a Linux server, uh, Linux media, uh, Flex Media server. And just go ahead and download the one for Windows. I just did that a while ago and then you click go ahead and install it go through the software uh, installation wizard and once that's done then you just want to go ahead, ahead and start up make mkv so that's what we're going to do right now we're going i already have a shortcut to it in my uh, system tray here but you just go ahead and click it it'll come up it scan the cd drives and disk drives in your computer now you do need a blu-ray uh, reader in your computer obviously to read blu-rays now this tutorial just applies to 1080p blu-ray discs it doesn't apply to 4k so if you have a 1080p disc go ahead and you know those drives are pretty common a lot of computers you can get them if you don't have one it's very easy to install or get a usb one you know just to install one internally you may you're probably look at 30 bucks for a blu-ray optical drive now I'm going to be backing up a copy of the movie I have from my, I just grabbed it off of my, out of my sh off my shelf called Black Snake Moan. So it already sees that I have that disc inserted. You're just going to go ahead and click this button here of the drive and let it unlock it because you can't just stick a disc into your Windows computer and then have it just, and just copy the file off, you know, just by drag and drop. Windows doesn't understandably let you do that. And that's what MKV is doing. It decrypts using a key to unlock that disk so then you can't access those files now as you can see here we got a pop-up window saying this is shareware for 30 days they they've never it's always been free i don't know if they ever plan to go to a pay version but you know it, it will continue to ask you this you just click you want to start yes it'll ask you this i believe every time you open it up when it finally does quit working it's because it's the versions become old and they have a new version that they want you to upgrade to and you just go download the new one uninstall this one and then away you go again so just say yes every time you want to start your evaluation i think if you do you, this tutorial this will also do dvds old school dvds you know and uh i don't think it asks you that extra window on dvds so now once you get the uh all the content you should load it up here in this uh lit file list here all these smaller ones you know usually you're going to be under one uh gigabyte these are just movie trailers extras stuff that you definitely don't need and then in one right here this is some other extras here that says five chapters 1.5 gigabyte all this you don't need you're looking for just a movie it's going to be the one with all the chapters in the big file size most blu-rays are going to run in the 20 to 30 gigabyte range so I just go ahead and uncheck all these extra files here because each one of these uh, would make a separate file on your computer and you don't want a whole bunch of files that you don't need and of course it would take longer. So when you get to the one here with your movie that you're going to want to back up, go ahead and expand that tree because there's stuff inside here you're probably not going to want. Now I would always take the best audio track and make sure that was stayed checked. Your video is you can't uncheck. So obviously you want the video you then can uncheck other stuff like in this instance i don't want the french audio i don't need the french dialogue because i don't speak french uh, if you're in france and you might want to uncheck the english and you don't want the uh you just want the french audio 
um, if you if you want to make sure your Plex server has multiple audio tracks, depending on what kind of device it's streaming to, so it may, maybe doesn't need to transcode it, let's say to a two-channel soundbar or something, you might want to add in some of these older, you know, Dolby Digital Stereo. I'm not going to worry about them. And then if you want some subtitles, um, you know, if you need those subtitles, um, you can add those as well. Um, you could, un you know, I could add that one the PGS English right here if you want um, you can add that to it and this will be very little data so it's not going to make much of a difference in the file size if you'd like to add the subtitle track because Plex can of course stream the subtitles but I'm not going to worry about that but if you wish to you can and then at this point you can see where it wants to save you want to change the default save location if you wish then you just go over here to the little envelope I don't know, envelope, the folder, excuse me. I don't want to say it's an envelope. And just go pick a folder. In this case, I'm just going to go to my desktop. And then go ahead and click Select Folder. And then you just click Make MKV. It's just going to give it a, uh, like a title, 001. It's going to give it a generic name. It'll be up to you to then rename it correctly, which you always should rename your files with the full movie name. And then I like to put in a... The year the movie was made behind it and um, you put that in uh, parentheses behind it because uh, you know many times there's movies as we know especially nowadays remakes plex needs to know which you know, version of this movie it is the old one the new version or you know many times there's movies that share the same titles so anyway let's go ahead and just click M make mkv and now it's going to start analyzing and then it'll start saving these to that digital.mkv video container. So this will take a little while. Uh, in 10, 15 minutes, we'll see. It, it, it's, it'll, it'll probably give us a estimated time. But we'll go ahead and let this go. And then we'll be right back here in a moment to continue the tutorial once this gets finished. No reason to sit here for 10 minutes and have me blab while this copies across. So we'll be right back whenever this gets finished. All right, guys, so we have the Blu-ray disc of Black Snake Moan has completed its copy to the hard drive. As you can see here, it was a little longer than I thought. It's been a little while since I've actually backed one of these up because I already did that a while back to my D, uh, excuse me, my Blu-ray collection. You can see it took about a half an hour. I thought it would be 10 to 15. I just couldn't quite remember as I usually walk away and come back later and don't really pay attention to how much time it took to do that. So just go ahead and click OK there. And we can go ahead and close this window now. And we'll go over here and we'll look. And over here on my desktop, I have a file that's called T, a title underscore T00. Dot MKV. Well, of course, that is not the name we're going to want to put. So let's go ahead and rename that to Black Snake Moan. I believe it was 2007, actually. We can change that. That's not correct. But that was the year that that movie was released. And that's the best way to name your files for Plex so that it knows the movie and the year. Of course, I don't think there's any other movie called this, so the year is not so important. I'll go ahead and click it here and we'll show you that this does play. And this is the whole movie. It's wanting to resize it. I've got a 4K desktop here, but you can see we've got that's Justin Timberlake and Christine Ricci in the background. We'll just kind of skip around. There it is. That is the whole Blu-ray. Why are you leaving? She said so we've got it 1080p this is absolute one-to-one -one copy so there's no drop off in quality this is the pretty much just the raw blu-ray file just put into a .mkv container that's it now it's a pretty big file if you don't have a really massive amount of storage in your, on your plex media server maybe you've got an old family PC that you upgraded and it has maybe a one terabyte drive and you've got a new computer and you use your old one for uh, your uh, Plex media server and you want to get a, a you know, one terabyte drive like I said you might want to consider shrinking these and in a future tutorial we'll go over how you can shrink these blu-rays while maintaining a good amount of quality you're gonna lose some quality but most people won't mind that and shrink these things down from 30 gigs to let's say five 
So you can get way more movies, and you're going to lose some quality, but not a lot. And so in a future tutorial, we'll talk about how you can shrink these and do so free, just like in this one. All right, so stay tuned for that. I'll try to give that uh, video here soon. So that should take care of this tutorial on how to back up your Blu-ray library to your Plex Media server, guys. All right, so stay tuned to the channel, and be sure to subscribe and click that bell. You know, so you don't want to upload new videos. And as always, guys, have a really great day.